Hi everyone, Sam Wenzel from Sam's Woodland Tours here, and today I'm doing a video on my classic camping style uh, convertible wedge tent. So over the years at Sam's Woodland Tours, during workshops and uh, tours and other events, there's always been a bit of a historical aspect to what I do. So what I've decided to do recently is to include a costume and equipment, classic camping equipment, to those things. So everything from the fire lighting things to what I greet people in. So what I have here is my convertible wedge tent. And that's a type of tent that has been used depending on the source that you're reading uh, from the Renaissance, Renaissance age to about the early 1900s. And then of course with the reenactment um, popularity and of course the bushcraft community, this type of tent is making a bit of a comeback or tents similar to it. So, of course, there are lots of places where you can go to, or there's a few places you can go to buy a tent like this. But what I've done was, along with a seamstress who helped me here in uh, Lunenburg County uh, over in Pinehurst, named Catherine Mertens, who helped me with the costume, but she also helped me with the tent. So what we did was we bought some canvas, and we actually, from descriptions that we were able to find, sewed up this tent. and. I've done some camping in it and I've already had it set up for a few workshops. I gotta say, I'm quite enjoying it. So, um, so I mentioned it is a convertible wedge tent. So later on in this video, I will include pictures of it in the wedge, uh, the wedge formation. But here it is open, very much like a baker style tent. And the difference between this and a baker tent is it's not quite as deep. So the back is very much like a lean-to and it doesn't go back quite as far. So it's a, basically, essentially, it's narrower. And when this flap comes back down, it uh, forms that traditional triangular style tent. So in the back, there's enough space for one or two people to lie down. If the tent is closed, it's two people very comfortable. And your gear, depending on how much you have. But in the open configuration, what's great about this is you can fit more people in gear in and of course in the winter time or any time you're going to want to have a fire going uh, and you want to have it coming into the tent right here in front you could have a fire uh, you could either try and have an all-night fire or have someone feed it all night but you could also have a fire and a reflector wall built up with sticks or whatever and have that reflect back inside so that's the great thing about having this option of the tent flap going up so with our canvas we have holding this up is our poles now this is a very simple a simple pole setup but it does take a little bit of work at home first or wherever so we have some spruce poles cut and peeled and they're drying so lots of cracks in there but it's still holding up fairly well we have a spruce pole up top now what's done with this particular setup is we have holes drilled in either end and spikes going up through and on top of this tent, there are little grommets where those spikes line up and go through. So that gives a pretty good stability there. Now, of course, if you don't have that option, if you're just out in the woods looking to cut your poles, what you do is you'd make an X and have your ridge pole go through that on either side. So that makes it very simple and you don't have to carry them with you. And of course, the aspect of carrying the poles with you that are pre-made is everywhere you go, you're not cutting poles. So it really depends on your setup, where you're going, what you're doing. Out here are poles for either side. Uh, it's the same sort of thing. We have a grommet up in the top. Up here, where a spike goes through. And then we have these loops for our support rope to go down. The tent pegs down there. So for this, we're using, I'm using wooden tent pegs. And the rope is sisal, also known as a, it's a type of uh, hemp rope, which is actually a period authentic to the time period that I am portraying. And for holding everything in, stability-wise, in terms of stability, uh, what I've got is some wooden tent pegs. So I have two different kinds. Basically, it's whatever shape I want to make. And for some, some parts, so if you look back there, on the other side, there's all kinds of loops. There's about five loops on that side. And there's some loops up here. And what you do is once you have your poles in, 
you stake it down in the ground and your loops. Now this one is pretty convenient because it has the flat part here that allows it to catch the loop. Now for some loops, specifically corner, uh, corner loops, what I like to do is I like to take a, a sapling that's going to have another limb going up here or another part of it and just cut it off so you have that extra stability. So if that, you're going to have one side that's going to have lots of tension, you'd have that. So that would be really strong and would be almost sturdier than that. Now in terms of what you want to make your tent pegs out of, I highly recommend uh, what I'm using is hardwoods. And so shorter ones are great for shallow rocky ground, much like here in Lunaburg County. And anywhere where you get to go where you have a field with not a lot of rocks and it's pretty easy to drive tent pegs. If it's not going to, if there's going to be a little bit of give to the dirt, you want long ones to drive down so there's more stability. So back here, once you have your tent set up or in the process of setting up your tent, what you need for your convertible wedge tent are some loops or strings. Uh, this is just some fabric that's doubled up, uh, more of the canvas actually. And that gets tied to the pole, but we have extra ones that you can see here. And what's done there is there would be a flap or a little loop here, depending on the style of tent and when it was made, that would allow you to tie it together. So if you're going to close it up, you'd also be able to tie it. So all in all, it's actually a great base camp tent. So if you're going to go out for a little while and actually for my workshops and some things that I do, it's becoming very convenient, but it's a great base camp tent or one that you could actually almost live in for a long period of time. Like I said, you can change it back and forth between configurations and it is period authentic to the time period that I'm portraying. So if you'd like to see some of this in stuff in person or like to learn more about it, please check out Sam's Woodland Tours. There'll be more videos on this type of equipment and costume to come. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, please click like and subscribe. And until next time, thanks for watching.